Welcome to this new Impure tutorial where we're going to take a look at how to create uh, workspaces, how to save them and delete them, and also how to uh, work with Impure code. So, if you want to open an existing workspace, all you need to do is click here in the top menu, the Open button, and choose the uh, workspace that you want to open. It will be open for you. Uh, then you are free to make whatever changes you want to, to make and when you are done uh, you can click on the save button here and this will save your changes. Of course you can uh, save as uh, another name uh, to duplicate the workspace so click in the save as button here, uh, change the name to whatever you want and of course you can uh, write, you can type uh, a full path so that your workspace gets uh, saved inside of a folder. Finally, if you want to delete a workspace, uh, open that workspace you want to delete and click, double click actually on the delete button. Workspaces are uh, saved internally as a plain text uh, string. Um, for instance, uh, I will open a very simple one, the one that uh, we just created, um, this one. And uh, the way I can uh, use and reuse uh, this uh, code, this impure code, is by using these three buttons here. Uh, if you roll over them, you will see, uh, you will get a tooltip uh, telling you what, what each of them do. Um, as you can see, the blue one is to, to copy uh, the current workspace code. Um, the pink one, second one, is to paste code. And the final one, the orange one, is to insert code. So I'm going to click the first one, copy and pure code, and I'm going to uh, paste this here in a notepad. And you can see um, there is some uh, information here. Uh, actually, it's all the information that Impure needs in order to build uh, this workspace. Uh, since uh, this is a, a very simple one, uh, only two modules, uh, I only have uh, two lines here, but uh, this could be quite longer if the workspace is uh, it's more complex. You don't actually need to understand uh, what, uh, what is being uh, represented here because you're not going to edit this at all. But it's very useful to, for you to know that you can copy and paste this uh, in order to save this, for instance, in an old pad for uh, your own uh, code snippet library or if you want to share this by email with, so with someone, with another impure user, uh, and so on. Uh, in fact, you, uh, you can check in a website, in a wiki, um, we have a code, uh, code snippets or a snippets code uh, section where you will find uh, some examples of uh, impure code that you can actually copy and paste uh, within your project. And this is exactly what I'm going to do now. I'm going to select this and copy back to impure and I'm going to click here and paste control V or command V or control V in Windows and whatever you have in your workspace will get, will get replaced by uh, what, what you just selected and copied from here um, as you uh, as you saw uh, uh, when you when you paste uh, code using this icon um, the whole workspace gets replaced with uh, what you had in, in, in your clipboard uh, but you can also insert um, modules or insert workspace uh, one within another. For instance, um, I'm going to uh, copy another one, this one here. Again, Command C or Control C in Windows. And instead of clicking the second icon, I'm going to click the third one, which is uh, an I, uh, an I to insert. I'm going to move this a little bit and if I click and paste you see how um, the modules that, are, that, are, that I just copied from here have been pasted within the current workspace. So this is very helpful because uh, um, I, can, I can have a library uh, of, of code snippets uh, making different, uh, implementing different functionalities that I may want to reuse in the future. Um, I can I can copy and paste this within my current workspace uh, and so I don't need to build 
everything from scratch every time I want to do uh, whatever. So that's that's pretty that's pretty useful and it will save you a lot of time. So this is it. Um, you learned how to create workspaces, how to save them, how to delete them as well, and also how to um, work with impure code, which as you already saw, um, you can copy and, and paste and share with uh, uh, other impure users or for your own uh, future uh, reuse. So hopefully this will help you uh, create your own workspaces and uh, you can of course uh, review our next tutorials where we will get into the details on how to uh, create a specific projects, how to use specific uh, modules. Thanks for watching.